welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to be doing my February favorites. I haven't done a monthly favorites in a while. So I have a lot of great, great products to share with you. It's been a really good month for makeup for me. And I just been enjoying every single item that I have here in front of me. And I'm really excited to share them with you. I do have one item that I want to talk about that is non beauty related. And, um, and then I will show you guys the makeup. So I have I haven't done my favorite YouTuber in a long time and I have a great one to share with you guys today. And then I have a little something at the end. So stay tuned for the end because you're gonna want to. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just, I'll start off with my favorite YouTuber of the month. And my favorite YouTuber goes to Kristen from the Kristen K channel. I love her channel and I love her as a person. She is just very down to earth, very kind, very sweet. You can just tell in her videos that she's very genuine and she's just great to watch. And I feel like when I'm watching her, it's like I'm kind of talking to her already, like like she's kind of in front of me and I'm, we're just kind of chit-chatting. Like that's how I feel when I do watch her. So she's just great. She does great reviews. She's kind of doing her decluttering in her channel. She's going through her makeup. She's doing very, very good um, in not buying makeup. She really wants to concentrate on her collection and she inspires me to do that because obviously you guys know I have a problem with makeup. So yeah, she's just an inspiration. She's a, she's a mom like I am and we just, I can relate to her and I just really, really, really enjoy her channel and her and she's been so nice to me since she's been subscribed to my channel and I just really appreciate it. So thank you, Kristen. I will leave her channel link down below, including her Instagram because she's also on Instagram and I really love her page. So make sure you guys check her out after you watch this video. So we are going to go into my favorites. So the first non-beauty favorite, well, the only non-beauty favorite, is a Sweet Perfection Sugar. Now, this is made from hickory root. I think that's how you say it. It's sugar-free, so it's got zero sugar, no carbs. It's got 11% fiber. It's gluten-free, and it's vegan. I'm a coffee drinker, and I like my coffee to be sweet. And I don't want to put sugar into my body because sugar just is not good for you, and we all know that. So I'm trying to stay healthy, and this is what I've been using instead of sugar to put in my coffee. I normally use like stevia drops to put in my coffee or tea, but just to kind of switch it up and do something a little bit different, this is what I've been using. It's not, it still makes my coffee really sweet, and it still gives me that taste of sugar in my coffee, if that makes any sense. So I really, really like this stuff. I will leave a link down below to where I got this. Okay, so on to some beauty items. I'm gonna go through this really quickly because I do have a lot of stuff. I have some reviews on some of these products as well, so I'll make sure to leave all the videos linked down below for you guys. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is my primer. I've been using the Liz Watte Base Miracle Pore Minimizing Primer. I love this primer. It keeps me matte, it fills in my pores, my foundation just goes on really nice, and I don't know, it's just a really great primer. And I've been into Liz Watte products lately, I love her blushes, I love her um, her highlighters, so I've been, I do want to try one of her foundations. If you guys are interested, please let me know in the comments, but this primer is a definite favorite of mine and I love it. Okay, two foundations that, one is newer to me, but I'm going to have to say it's a favorite because it really did top most of my foundations that, I, that I've been reviewing lately. And it's the Quo Age Excellence Foundation. I always pass by this brand and I'm so happy I gave it a shot. I really love it. I do have a review on my channel, so I'm not going to get into it, but I will leave the link down down below. I just, that my, I don't feel like I'm wearing any foundation and my face still, like my foundation still looks like skin. I can still see my skin, but it looks flawless. I don't know. It's just a really great foundation, so I will leave the link down below, but if you guys are from Canada, it's from Shoppers Drug Mart. I tried to find it online for the rest of you, but I cannot find it anywhere. So yeah, I love this. And the one that I've been kind of um, using a lot lately is my Matte and Poreless from Fit Me, the Maybelline line. I really like this. So I've been kind of switching off 
depending on my mood. This just really keeps me matte. So if I want that flat matte kind of look, then um, this is what I will reach for. And it's it's really nice for a drugstore product and it's very reasonable price. I just really enjoy this. So these two foundations, love, love, love this month. Okay, concealer, the Naked Skin Concealer. I did go back and switch the color. I think I had light neutral. I went back and got the light warm. So it is the shade lighter. This is the second shade in the line and I do like it better. I'm wearing it today. It just really brightens up my under eyes and my under eyes just look really like flawless. So I love this. Highly recommend checking it out. I do have a review on this, including the Urban Decay powder that I did do together. I have mine in the color medium. I really like this to set my foundation and I do use this brush, which is another favorite of mine. It's the Equal Tools brush. I got this on sale for like $5, which was a steal, and I like it because it's a stiffling brush. So it doesn't pick up a lot of product because this color is a little bit too dark for me, so I don't really need a lot of it, but I really like to use this to set my foundation, and I do like this on its own. I think it's got a great coverage, just like their, their liquid foundation. So I really like this powder. It's really soft to the touch, and it's just really good. So good job, Urban Decay. I'm really impressed. To set my makeup, I've been using my L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Extender Setting Spray. Again, it just keeps my makeup on all day and I think it does a great job for a drugstore product. It is on the pricier side, but if you could pick it up on sale, I really do think it's worth trying and it's, I believe it's also oil free, which is good. So I've been enjoying it this month, so I really like it. Now for eyeshadow this month, it's been all about my Tartlet from Tarte and the NARS Dual Intensity Eyeshadows. I just been using these like crazy. I had to actually force myself to use other shadows this, this week, which I will have a review and look coming up in the next couple of weeks for you guys. But I really, really love this palette. And I'm so happy that Tara Lynn made me get this palette because I'm absolutely in love with it. And I, I just really like it. It's all matte. It's a really great mixture of some cool and warm, well, more like a neutral palette. And I didn't think I would like it, but I love it. Especially the plum shades. I've been really enjoying the plum shades. Um, Best Friend is a really pretty plum. And I like Bombshell, which is your deeper purple. Look at how dark that is. It's very pigmented. They go on really, really nice and they blend so nicely. So I really like those two shades. I've been using these three shades for my brow bone highlight. So it's just a great palette to even travel with. I think it's great. And the NARS Dual Intensity Eyeshadows, you guys already know how I feel about them. They're one of my favorite formulas. You can use them wet or dry. I don't like an all matte look on my eyes. So I've been using like these lighter, well, it does come with a really nice brush, by the way. I've been using like these four shades on my eyelid and I really like this like deep wine plum shade. I think it's really pretty. So I do have a look, a few looks that I did this month. I will also leave in the link down, bo down below if you guys want to see these in action, but I really think it's worth looking at, especially the NARS Dual Intensity eyeshadows because they're not cheap, they're quite pricey, and you get to try eight shadows, and this palette is limited edition, so just thought I would mention that. For contouring, I mean, I'm not going to get into the Kat Von D shade and light because I've talked about it a few times already in my weekly favorites, but I mean, I do use it um, almost every single day, but I've been using my Marc Jacobs, what's this called? <laughs> My Marc Jacobs uh, Light Filtering Contouring Powder in 40 Mirage Filter. So it just looks like this and you get a really nice kind of like your banana shade and then your contouring shade. The only thing that I don't like about this palette is it's so powdery. So when you dip your brush into it, just it just goes everywhere and then it goes into the banana shade and it just drives me crazy but it applies really nicely onto the skin. It just blends in really nice, very seamless, seamlessly, and it doesn't leave like those, those lines when you're doing contouring. So I just really like the way it looks onto the skin. 
This is the middle shade. It comes with a really nice big mirror. And I feel like, like I just got this palette and I already have a big dent in it already. So I don't know how much longer this thing is going to last me, but it's been a favorite this month. So I have a lot of blush. So I'm gonna kind of talk through them really quick. The first one is Dallas and I've been using this every day on top of my contour just to kind of add some, I don't know, it just does something to my contour that I really like. And I've been using it as a blush this month. So I really like it. It is being discontinued. Another reason why I do want to mention it to you guys because I think it is worth picking up. I already have a backup of it and I'm thinking of maybe even getting one more. Another blush, this is by the drugstore. This is Annabelle. I've talked about this before. I don't know the name of this, but it is in the number 51. But this is kind of like your everyday rosy, bronzy color. So there it is right there. Kind of reminds me of the Laura Mercier cider one that I'm in love with and I forgot the name. But anyways, it's just a really nice kind of bronzy, rosy shade. So I really like it. It does have some sheen to it. It's not matte, but it's just very pigmented and it blends into the skin really nicely. Um, another one is by Clarins. This is in the color 08 Sweet Rose. And that's what it looks like. I am wearing it today, actually, right here. And it's just a really nice, soft, pretty pink color. So two more. This is the Estee Lauder Lover's Blush. This is a shimmer. This is just your very neutral, everyday blush. It does have a little bit of a sheen to it. I like to wear this when I just want a really soft look or if I'm wearing like a darker eye, then this is the color that I reach for. I've talked about it before in my weekly favorites. Some of these are repeats, but I thought I would just kind of give you guys the ones that really stood out to me this month because it is my monthly favorites. So that is Lover. Let's see. There you go. And you can build this color up and this makes a really good topper on other blushes as well. So if you are like darker skin, then you can add this on top of a matte blush and it'll just leave a really pretty glow to the cheeks. And the last one is the Sephora Pantone Universe Blush Palette. This thing is amazing and it is sold out. But I hope they bring it back. I don't know if they're going to bring it back. I think they should because I think it's sold out too fast and... I mean, everybody needs a chance to get a hold of this palette because I think it's amazing. It is a bit powdery, I will say, but um, this blush is really pigmented. This peach middle shade I didn't think that I would like, but I actually really like it and I just mix these two together. And this highlight is, it's amazing. Sorry guys, before I move on to lipstick, I just have one more highlighter and it's by the drugstore. It's by Physicians Formula. This is in the color Natural Nude. I do have it in the Warm as well. So I love that one so much that I had to go get the other shade because there is two shades. This is just your lighter color. I really like it because you could customize your highlight. So if you want a more bronzy highlight, you can just use these four shades here. A little bit more pink with a little bit of bronze or really nice beautiful champagne. I just been kind of using it that way um, for my highlight, inner corner highlight and my cupid's bow. This is really super pigmented that I really like to use my um, small like stifling brush or the elf one works really good and just I apply it on. And I mean I do get a little bit oily so I don't want to add like too much on so but I really like it. I have three lipsticks that really stood out to me this month. If I wanted to go for a nude lipstick, this is the, what is this? The Toledo, the MAC Toledo collection. And this is uh, in Ox Blood. It's just a really pretty nude shade and it's actually very similar to Kinda Sexy by MAC, which let me go and get that because I want to swatch those two together. Okay, so here is uh, Ox Blood, so I'll swatch it right here. There you go. And it does have like a slight pinky peachy undertone and this is MAC's Kind of Sexy. Oof. Oof. 
Um, yeah, so here is Max Kind of Sexy. I would say that Max Kind of Sexy is a little bit more pink, and this one's got a little bit more of like a peachier, nudier <laughs> color, but you guys, they are so similar that I don't think that you need both of them. The guy at MAC basically was telling me that depending on the color of your lips, that this could look different than this one, which I don't know. <laughs> because swatched, they look so similar, it's crazy, and they are both matte. Okay. The next lipstick is a cool lipstick that I picked up at Shoppers. This is part of their spring collection. They always come with really pretty packaging, except this one, I just don't like it because it's so bulky. It comes in this like square tube. I like it that it's black and white. I think that's very pretty. I just don't like the bulkiness of it. It just takes up too much room in my purse, but the lipstick is beautiful. It's what I'm wearing today. These lipsticks are so creamy that you have to be careful when you even apply them to your lips. I only have to do it like if I go all the way, like I have to be really careful when I apply this because they'll bend. Like that's how soft these lipsticks are. But they're super creamy and very pigmented, very comfortable. They do not dry my lips. I love it. I actually want to go pick up a backup of this color because I think it's so beautiful. It's a really beautiful kind of like a plum like a deep plum um rosy shade i don't know it's it's so pretty it's what i'm wearing today so i love it you guys it's amazing and i normally don't buy any cool lipsticks but i'm really happy i got this one and the laps laps <laughs> the last lipstick is by mark jacobs this is in the color kiss kiss bang bang again i've talked about it a few times this color is actually almost very similar well no it's a bit more pink there is kiss kiss bang bang but i love this on the lips it's so pretty i do have a picture on instagram with me wearing this shade if you guys are interested but i really love the formula of these they are not they, these ones don't dry out my lips. I know for some people, some people are saying that they are, but personally for me, I they just don't do that for me. It's They're very pigmented. They blend really nice. They're up there for me next to the NARS Audacious Lipsticks. So good job, Marc Jacobs. This is just a little 100 point perk, but I do want to go back and get the full size of this color because I just think it's a beautiful, beautiful color. So, okay, so that is everything that I have loved and enjoyed for the month of February. And if you guys are still with me, I do have a little surprise for you and it's a giveaway. It is February, it's the time to give and show love. And I want to give back to my subscribers. I really have enjoyed getting to know some of you and we're just I've been really bonding with some of my subscribers so I just want to sh just share with you guys I uh, show you guys my appreciation and how much it means to me to have your support here in my channel so this is what I'm giving away if you guys are interested then just keep on watching but I did go to Clinique and they were having a gift with purchase I wasn't gonna get the gift with purchase just because I have so many things already but I thought it was a really good gift and I decided to get it for you guys so it does come in this really pretty spring makeup bag and I do I did add some other goodies in here for you as well but yeah it comes in this really pretty makeup makeup bag and then you get a whole bunch of things to try out which I have tried and really enjoyed I also threw in a couple more samples this is the fresh soy face cleanser you get hope in a joy jo hope in a jar refreshing Refining Moisturizer and the Ren Micro Polish Cleanser, which I haven't tried that. And then I'm throwing in these two little mini Morgan Taylor Nail Lacquer Polishes. This was part of the Cinderella collection. I am wearing one today on my hands, but I have so many pink nail polishes that I thought that I would just include it in this giveaway. I really like the formula, they last a really long time, they don't chip, and it's just, I really like it, and it's per perfect time for the spring and summer, so you'll be getting those two nail polishes as well. Um, Essence was given, I seen this from Essence, this is their, a collection that they have out, and there's this brush, and it's got a heart in the middle, and I thought it was super cute, and it'd be good for powder and for blush. And I picked one up for you guys. I do have one myself and I've been really liking it. So I got one for you guys as well. 
Um, speaking of brushes, this is the Sonic Kashuk 106 brush. I really like this to pack on my eye color on my lids. I think it does an excellent job. It's very affordable and it's one of my favorite eye brushes. So I thought I would include that as well. Um, I'm also including this Sonia Kashuk Flamingo blush. This is a really pretty pink. I also picked up a Joe Fresh lipstick in the color Kiss. It's just a really neutral pink color. And if you guys haven't heard of the Joe Fresh brand, you do get this at the Superstore here where I live. And they're just really super creamy and very pigmented. So I thought I would include that as well, just to give you guys a little taste of some Canadian makeup. This is a Sonia Kashuk Matte Velvety Matte Lip Crayon in Candy Nude. I love these. I think they are so worth it. And I have my I have every single color in this line. So I'm really happy that someone is gonna be getting this. It's just a really nice, pretty everyday pink. And the last two things that I'm including are these Lorac shadows. This is in Indulge in White Chocolate, and this one is Tease Me Truffles. And this one's just a really nice kind of like your smokier eye, and it's got some really pretty gold in there as well. And I I think this is just really nice. Lorac shadows are very buttery, very creamy. And this one is just your plum shades as well. So that's very pretty. Okay, so that is what I'm including for this giveaway. It's really simple, guys. You only have to do two things. You have to be subscribed to my channel because it is for my subscribers. And you can comment anything down below, anything that you want. Just write something to me, um, as long as it's something nice, <laughs> nothing too mean, and I will keep this giveaway open for two weeks, and I will announce the winner on my Instagram and, I, and Twitter, and I will also send you a private message here on YouTube. So that is it, guys. That is everything, and just have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.